Hey, it's Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert here with some information on how to install a SIM card in your cell phone. First off, let's talk a little bit about what a SIM card is or SIM card. It stands for System Identity Module. Okay, well basically it's a little card like this, it used to be the size of a credit card with a little tiny microchip embedded on it, as you can see here. This allows you to have, um, and what it is, is it's your ID number for the phone. This card represents me. This is my, this is my personal number in cyberspace. First three digits on the number identify the country code of the provider. The second two numbers identify the carrier or provider. And then the last seven numbers identify me as the individual user. And that way they know where to bill it to and you know, everything. They know where to track the device and it, it's actually linking it to somebody. Now that number can be up to 20 characters, but they'll tell you they really, really prefer it to be 19 so you don't get in any trouble. The other thing that you're going to find on this card is perhaps your contact information and some other personal settings about the phone so as you move from handset to handset. Now, if you have a, a CDMI carrier, uh, like I believe Verizon is, you're going to notice that they don't use SIM cards. Your identification number is permanently locked into the handset itself, which can make switching over handsets a little bit more trickier. But for a lot of us, a SIM card is the way of life. So this is what you're looking for inside of it. If you have a super old phone, like I say, it's not going to be hard to find because it's going to be the size of a credit card. All right, first thing you need to do is get your handset. While each phone is going to be a little bit different, all of them are going to kind of follow the same installation procedure. Definitely check with your owner's manual or online for your particular model. This Samsung here follows like most average ones where you just pop the back cover off. Sometimes can be a little tricky. Uh, those of you who drop your phone know that, well, popping it off that way is pretty easy, but not recommendable. <laughs> behind, we're going to see here the battery pack. Now, most of the time, it's hidden behind the battery pack, but in this case here, it's not, but the battery pack must be removed in order to remove the SIM card. That's a good idea because, well, you don't want it to be powered up and useful when you take out its brain. So we're just going to simply remove the battery pack here just by prying it with our finger gently and putting it aside. Now this is where the SIM card lives up here. And all we're going to do at this point is just put our finger on it and just pull down gently until she pops out. Okay? You never want to push or force any of these small pieces of electronics. It's not advisable. Now we have our new SIM card and we're just going to reinstall it. Also a SIM card is most likely going to have a little niche or notch at the top here and that's going to guide you the right way to go back into it. So here we're just going to simply to install this one again or a new one, we're simply just going to slip it up into place, get it to fit nice and snug. Again, I'm not applying too much pressure. I've got our battery pack, making sure that the contacts meet where they're supposed to, starting in the edge that it's supposed to. Oop, I'm going to actually do that up and top there. Again, not pushing very hard, and then lining it up just below and doing a simple click. Well, I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying stream you later and have fun with those SIM cards.